last night to get all this uh, beautiful Mediterranean fish. So here we go. We have our tools, big cutting knife, scissors, and a small knife. I'm going to use the small knife just to descale the fish right only where I'm going to cut. That's making a mess a bit, but later I will uh, put it in a nylon bag or something. I'm going to cut right behind the head and down to the abdomen where all the guts are. There you go. That's not too bad at all. Now I'm going to cut. Actually, maybe I should have cut these first so that I don't get uh, nabbed by one of these, which are nasty enough when they come out of the water, they just open all that up. So, not bad at all. Nice uh, morsels of fish. I think we left a little bit there. But I guess uh, it's easier to clean this way, so maybe we just have to wait a bit. Mm. So let's try uh, cleaning or descaling the fish with, uh, within a bag so they don't uh, get their scales all over my kitchen. So let's see how that goes. And then the bag, I'm gonna close that back a bit over it. Uh, you know, the best thing first is to cut all these spiny things so you don't get uh, stung by them. And they are really very hard. Uh, I think it's called rockfish in some places. In some places it's called nylon or some other local local names. And it has spines over here as well. I'm not going to cut those. But you have to be careful when you clean it. It's really a very spiny fish and very hard. That's a hardy fish. So let's see. Whoa. It really takes effort. And you can see the scale flying all over the place. Uh, it's not too bad. But they tend to fly, in the, <laughs> to fly at you. So maybe turn it that way, you can fly away from me. Oh, they are really hard, look at that. Wow. This is the first time really I clean a quantity of these. So now this is clean. Eh, it's not so bad actually. But the other way really I'm thinking about cutting down on the time to clean is really to put the fish this way, clean up only the area where I'm going to cut just do away with the head and some of the meat. We'll do our cut right there. There you go. So I'm going to start with this fish as I've uh, concluded that that's the best way to, to clean it. First I'm going to cut right here with scissors. The knife doesn't really cut through the scales. Uh, you have to really descale it before cutting. And so I start here and start cutting here. Now, the nice thing here is you get rid of all the, the belly uh, spines and fins and all that. Oops, I should have cut one up. Okay, go up that way behind the head. And you just press down a bit. And that's the head gone. And the stomach gone. And the fins gone. Everything gone. Nice and clean. Then I do the back ones. Or I could have done the back ones first so I don't. Uh, stick myself. Oh, I think I lost part of my scissors. Which way is it? This way? Oh, thank you very much. There you go. So uh, there's some fish eggs. Some people like that. So this is the finished product, which is beautiful and uh, isn't that nice. Now all I have to do is descale it. I would go turn it the opposite way and do this. And I would do that in a nylon bag so it doesn't uh, go all over the walls. So this morsel of fish it is very just fried and in, in maybe a little bit deep fried or not really that deep. And for like two minutes each side and that's it. It's done and ready to eat and beautiful. You don't eat as sushi, don't do that. <laughs> it's too many forms. But gently fried, just salt and pepper, and that is really a beautiful piece of fish. There you go. I like that. I like this conclusion. Everybody disappears when I'm cleaning fish. Don't get many volunteers. They have a lot of reasons to be busy. But then they all magically appear when we start frying fish. Okay, here's uh, the favorite Mediterranean fish. It's called the Sultan. Uh, I don't know if you call it uh, somewhere else. But in uh, the Mediterranean, it's the best tasting fish and very tender. 
still has nice scales so this is going to be easier to clean than the other you know, the way I sort of decided is to go through the abdomen and cut through if I get sharper uh, scissors I can probably get a better looking cut then this is a gill plate which has a thorn I'm gonna cut it out I'm gonna cut this one out actually this is a gross smelling fish when you have I don't know what it eats and I go through here and then if you cut this one the whole guts come out and you want to see it I'm not gonna show it to you <laughs> There you go, I'm gonna throw it out. And it smells like this guy eats a lot of vegetables. I'm not gonna check the contents of the stomach. So it comes out like that. I could get sharper scissors or do something to make it look better. I guess it looks better after I wash it. There you go. I'm gonna do one more. As I say, practice makes perfect. And Perfect practice makes perfect. So you cut this, you cut around the abdomen this way, and you cut from here, the whole thing should come out. There you go. I love it. There you go. And these are sharp, so I get rid of them for the kids. Oh, I'm, I'm yet to find a way to clean this fish without. Uh, ruining its appearance <laughs> but so far you know this is the best way i could figure out just go through the abdominal cavity cut one way then cut the other this i learned from uh, professional fish cleaners at the fish market uh, they make it look a little prettier now once you cut here you really can remove the whole thing with the guts at one time you have a clean fish and that's interesting oops there you go but i don't i prefer to have the fish look uh, complete but this is a fast and efficient way if you're in a hurry and you have a lot of fish to clean and we do have a lot today so this is not such a bad idea cut the tail off cut the dorsal fins and go through this cavity you cannot cut the whole thing it's a bit thick i tried it and I need a sharper scissors then you cut through the lining of the stomach the cavity and then you cut the other end I wonder what the biological term for that is the abdominal cavity maybe that's right okay then you cut here and then you have the whole thing so if you you get the should get the gills and everything ah the gills are there I should have cut a bit deeper, we could have cut in the gills. There you go. There you go. There you go. I like that. That's a nice fish. These fish uh, taste simply great. Mediterranean fish, uh, you fish them with worm bait and these come in the day during the day normally we fish them from a boat offshore a little bit and uh, they're a very easy fry two minutes each side and they taste just simply delicious they have a lot of flavor like most mediterranean fish then i got this plate and hopefully this whole thing will come out there you go i love that what I have to do now is descale them. I haven't even descaled them. <laughs> Perhaps I should have done that first. Yeah, we learn. But here we go. We got like uh, eight kilos of fish the other day. And I'm the guy stuck cleaning them. So they have to put up with whatever I get <laughs> through if they want to eat the fish. This slimy looking thing is the worm. It was alive. This was part of our bait. Whoa, this was the best uh, bait we had and we caught a lot of fish on it and uh, so I way. think uh, the other way could be something like this you cut this out and it's pretty hot and then you just uh, cut it this way just cut all the way in come on this is not a sharp pointy scissors anyway so you cut all the way up 
to there. Then you can cut 3D actually this just under the gills. If you want to keep the head on, you can do that. You can cut this, these bits here, like this, and then the whole thing comes out. And you remove the gills as well, which are gross. Then you can do this and remove it. I don't want to show you too much. And that's it. You have it.